Hey guys, welcome back to the Loose Transistor channel. My name is Lucas and I'm here today bringing to you guys a very special video on how to flash the true D-diversity with the new 2.0 firmware. So I'm gonna have links in the description there's some screenshots popping up here and there so you guys can know exactly what I'm doing here on my end. And uh, we're gonna get this thing flashed very, very, very quickly. It does not take long. So what are you gonna need to do this procedure is you're gonna need the true D diversity module. Uh, I pulled mine out of the shield because I found it easier to work with. And also uh, the way I have it installed in my Attitude V3s, I have a bit of a uh, double-sided tape to hold it into the bay. And uh, it's just a little bit tricky to get it out right now and I just don't wanna bother. So you can totally flash it with just the the shield and if you're gonna flash it make sure you pull it out of your goggles because otherwise you're feeding back uh, voltage into the goggles and it won't work it's a little bit finicky so I prefer to do it with just the shield so we have the true D diversity shield here other than that you're gonna need to get yourself an FTDI tool this is just like the model from Banggood uh, it's it's pretty straightforward just a USB FTDI tool with six pins will do the trick for you and make sure that it can supply five volts. Right now I have mine set to five volts on the little jumper over there. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna supply a picture of the wiring of the FTDI, but it is pretty simple. Uh, the, the shield on the Trudy Diversity has pins marked, okay? So it has a ground pin, it would be a, a ground pin, and then a C CTS pin, a VCC pin, RX, TX, and DTR, going from there to there. So ground and DTR. Um, <clears throat> the thing is, with the FTDI tool, or at least the one that I'm using, the RX and TX don't match up. So I had to just swap the two little wires right there, and uh, it should be good to go. I soldered a set of pin headers on the other end, which are gonna fit in to the True D Diversity module just like that. And then I'm gonna just put a little bit of pressure with it on my finger, like that, to hold it in place, and it should be just fine. I flashed a couple of these already, I know it works. On the software side, all you're gonna have to do is uh, go to the, the Furious FPV website and click on the Downloads tab. I'm gonna supply a link for you guys. Click on the Downloads tab, check out for, uh, you're gonna download the zip, the zip file for the True D Diversity firmware update, which is gonna come with a few uh, folders and files inside of it. And just below that, there's a series of other hex files that you can download that have just have a different logo that shows up on the screen. I'm gonna be using the Iron Man one, that's just my preference. You can use the Rotoriot one if you want, or just go straight with the Furious FPV one. It does not matter, it is purely cosmetic. It does not change any of the features, you still get the same set of features from firmware 2.0. So let's get cracking on the actual, um, on the actual flashing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is connect my USB to my FTDI. And then I'm gonna connect the FTDI to the shield and just leave it aside for a sec. <clears throat> so when you download the, the zip file from uh, Furious FPV, make sure you extract that to your desktop or somewhere you can easily find it. And inside of that firmware 2D, there's gonna be two folders. You're gonna want the folder that says update firmware 2D rev 2.0. You click on that. And there's gonna be three more folders inside that. The one that you're really worried about right now is the X loader, okay? Xloader is a, just a hex loading program that will flash the chip for you using the FTDI. So you need to run that. Make sure you run that as administrator and this little window is gonna pop up. Um, and basically what you're gonna do is first you're gonna select the hex file. So if you've downloaded a specific hex file from the site, one with the fun, funky little logos, go and find that file and select it. Otherwise you can go to the TrueD uh, folders that you just extracted and there's gonna be a .hex.ino file in there as well and uh, you can use that to flash with just the regular Furious FPV um, logo. On the X loader, the options are quite simple. So once you selected the file that you wanna flash, which is the, the Furious FPV firmware, then you're gonna select device. <clears throat> Under the device, you're gonna wanna select Uno at AT Mega 328. Then you're gonna select the relevant COM port that, that will show up when you plug in the FTDI and the baud rate has to be 57600. I have not been able to make it work with 1152. 57600 seems to be the magic number for flashing. So now we're going to now we're going to connect the com port or connect the USB port to the computer. We'll see the FTDI come on. And now we have power on the True D diversity. As you can see, I've already flashed it, but I'm just gonna do it again to show you guys. I wanted to make sure that it worked.
Okay. So, once you've selected the hex file and you have your device set to Uno at Mega, you got the COM port correct, you got the baud rate, all you're gonna do is click upload. That simple. You click upload and you're gonna see the little, uh, little LEDs flashing on the FTDI tool. And it won't take long now. Well, it actually takes a little bit of a while. So once it finishes flashing, it's just gonna pop the new, the new uh, Iron Man logo on the screen. And we're pretty much done with flashing the, the 2.0 firmware on the TrueD. If you're not familiar with the TrueD, by the way, it is a diversity module for the Fat Sharks. Uh, it allows you to have two separate antennas and two separate receivers, which gives you uh, the ability to use two types. Oh, there we go, see? We got the TrueD Drive 2.0, the little Iron Man guy, and we're flashed on the new firmware. So it's that easy, it doesn't take very long. I will supply pictures of the, of the FTDI wiring and uh, links for all this other stuff. So as I was saying, the <clears throat> The TrueD Diversity is a diversity module for the Fat Sharks. It allows you to put two antennas on it, a patch antenna and a circular polarized omnidirectional antenna. So you get a much better reception as you're flying. It's definitely worth it. Uh, I used to use the Next Wave Diversity and uh, since switching over to the TrueD, oh my God, I am extremely happy with this. Uh, so get yourself a TrueD, they're excellent. Also, you can see so much information like your, your channel and uh, your call sign and how much signal you're getting. So it's pretty damn cool. If you want to find yourself some, uh, beaverfpv.com has them available. Uh, Norm is a great guy to deal with. So go over there at the beaverfpv.com and pick yourself a set. So I hope this video has been helpful and gets you flashed on 2.0. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. We will have more of these types of videos coming up as well as more build videos and flying videos, just, just videos, man. So uh, thanks for watching.